Now this is a great example of training at the park. So I'm at the park with the kids. Uh, I haven't got much time, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a straddle L-sit workout. So I'm gonna go through the levels for you guys. So I'm gonna start with the easiest variations. I'm gonna slowly go harder. I interestingly haven't done much mobility work. So I'm more working on the strength of the straddle L-sit now. So let's jump in with the easiest variation. Now everyone should be able to do this variation. And I'm just gonna use the corner of a wall. So I'm just gonna use this wall here. Uh, I'm gonna have my hands nice and close together and I'm gonna allow my knees to be very bent. So that takes away all the mobility and as long as you can basically hold yourself in a support position you should be able to do this straddle L version. So I'm right on the edge of this wall so on the corner like I say hands together basically nearly touching in that position and I'm going to keep my knees bent I'm going to lean forwards a lot so knees bent leaning forwards a lot I'm even going to start on my tippy toes so my hips are off the floor because it's harder to lift up into that position it's much easier to find the position with your tippy toes on the floor so there I'm going to squeeze the legs into my legs and then just lift the knees up slightly Lightly. Now you can check, you can hear when I start to use a little bit more intensity there when I pull the knees up higher in that position. And then you can just hold here for time. So a good goal would be to get like 15, 20 seconds in this position. And then I'm gonna move over to a higher wall that's got a bigger clearance all the way around so I can get all the way around with the legs. So now I'm gonna have my hands this way around. So not close together, they're gonna to be more like shoulder width apart, which is gonna open them up, get them more underneath the shoulders, which is slightly harder from a strength point of view. But I can still start in that same position. But I'm, instead of being on my toes, because my toes are now off, I'm on my hips, but I'm gonna rock forwards and push up and bring the shoulders back and down and try and open the chest up into that position. Still keeping the knees nice and closed. So knees are bent and the knees are at least, again, notice the external rotation. So external rotation just creates a bit more strength and makes you stronger. Internal rotation, you start to collapse. External rotation makes you higher and stronger. Okay, next I'm gonna use these steps because the cool thing with the steps is it's limiting the amount my feet can go down. So I have to lift them up a certain amount. Uh, if not, they're gonna touch the floor. So very similar to the last one, but I'm gonna use a different entry now. I'm gonna start on my feet. External rotation, arms into the legs. Find the position first. Then I'm gonna slowly straighten the knees without leaning backwards. And again, 10, 15 seconds. So if I'm like this, now I've got that limitation of the floor. So you could change the height or the gap between your hands and the floor to give you that target to try and keep the feet off. So now exactly the same, but the floor variation, now it does allow me to bend my knees a little bit if I can get a good hip flexion. So see, I've still got my knees bent, but I'm off the floor. Ideally, we would be straightening here. But you can tell this one's hard for me. Voice is going funny. But I'm resting on the arms as well. So it is, again, slightly easier. Now, once we have an LCL, we can start to play with different entries into it. We can do this one. This one's really good if you're gonna to work towards that stall to press. It's basically, I'm just gonna walk the feet round or slide them round, keeping the toes low, and then lift the toes without lifting the torso too high, so it rocks me backwards. Similar variation, but on the edge of a wall. So I'm gonna walk the legs off. That one's harder for me. We have the handstand variations that I went through in the last box press handstand video. So this one I actually find easier than that last one. You just need to get your timing right, the feet coming through and the hips coming down. And then the same variation, but on the floor, so you don't have that clearance. Now watch how I take my feet through. So my toes touch, keep the torso leaning forwards. Try and bring the toes up as high as I can. I don't extend the torso too quickly because that's going to happen. So that's really good if you're like me and you can't get your feet through that high in the straddle L sit and you have to use a little bit of leaning of the torso. So a good example of park training, you really don't need to have that much equipment to train these type of skills and you can also train them with the kids. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.